Hello and welcome back to Iron Man in Hypixel Skyblock. Uh, today we're gonna do uh, probably do some Slayers and stuff. I think that's kind of the goal. At least show what Slayers I can do, and I'll do more offline. But I've been farming <laughs> nonstop uh, for quite a bit. I I've purchased a pumpkin dicer. A cocoa chopper and I believe I had purchased the uh, cactus knife uh, last time along with the, the melon dicer. I went ahead and purchased those just because uh, where we're going. <laughs> so I want to make some crappie armor uh, but first let's see what kind of metals we got going on here. So I'm consistently getting silver in just about every event that I attempt. Uh, now at uh, I think it's like 300 to 400 farming fortune so the cactus knife really paid off. I was able to get uh, two uh, silver medals in that. So it's been pretty nice. So let's claim all those. And that gives us, uh, what is that? So one, we got, a, we got a lot of tickets now. This is uh, very nice. Uh, we also got a lot more books. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them on here for now. So we don't waste our inventory space. Uh, I don't have backpacks to I? just realized that too. oh man it says i have a backpack i don't know why i can't open it i don't know we'll figure it out later but uh so what i want to look at here is crappie crappie is the next tier of armor uh and then uh this is uh pretty much ready to craft i farmed up the 80 crappies i may i think i have more but uh we'll see here in a second so let's take our armor off and go ahead and craft this now, I did not enchant anything or reforge anything yet. Uh, I did enchant the boots, because that's where I started for some dumb reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But I believe all of these will carry over to the new armor. So let's go ahead and get it crafted real quick. Uh, recipe crop. So, uh, crappies are, you know, they come from uh, wheat, potato, and... Uh, carrots so we got a bunch of those uh, we do want to make a crappie talisman at some point but I farmed for two days and I got 91 <laughs> so uh, we're gonna wait on that that is a, a nice item to get it's uh, what you know 10 farming fortune then there's an upgrade for the next tier but let's go ahead and do this here so let's super craft the breastplate there we go we got a crappie breastplate let's make the boots we got crappy boots and it saved all the enchantments. So keep that in mind. Uh, I just, I was just going so fast. I didn't even think about enchanting anything. We got crappy pants and I believe the last piece is the helmet. Crappy helmet. All right. So we can put all this on here. Now we lose the ability to get, uh, what are they called? Uh, crappies. So we can no longer get crappies, but we can get squash now squash is the next tier of armor that we can make and this comes from pumpkins melons and cocoa beans hence the reason i bought the pumpkin dicer and the cocoa chopper now if we look at squash which is the next tier we're going for let's just click on the breastplate as you can see you know 30 30 enchanted cookies and what is that 48 melon and eight polished pumpkins and then 10 uh 20 squash right and we look here you know polished pumpkins on that one pants again more cookies more another 48 of those and then the helmet is uh another 48 so as you can see we're gonna need uh uh what is that 48 times four probably melons uh enchanted melon blocks and then i think every piece needed pumpkin right eight pumpkin eight pumpkin and 12 pumpkins so yeah we're gonna need a lot of a lot of materials to get to the next tier and i didn't want to be messing around because as you can see on my uh shopping list over here from uh my visitors i do need melon and i do need cookies so i didn't want to like waste my time like 
that. I didn't want to waste my time farming this and not being able to get squash because we are going to need uh, quite a bit of squash. I think it's 80 to uh, move forward. Plus we're going to need 256 for the, uh, the talisman once we make the crappy one. Or maybe it's a ring at this point uh, with that one. But you can see here we did a whole row and we didn't get one. <laughs> See, I wanted to try to get one uh, before we move on. It says, uh, it's usually, I don't know, on my other profile, I get quite a bit of them because I don't need them anymore, right? So once you get to the point you don't need them, you have more than you know what to do with. We have rare drop there. And come on, don't make me look like a fool. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do uh, slayers after we mess around here for a few minutes on the farm. If this uh, goes, I'm going to talk about my plan on how we're going to approach all that since, uh, you know, I don't have any dungeon progression, really. I have Cata 6 and uh, a floor 1 completion. And, you know, we could grind our way through dungeons and stuff like that, but I kind of want to do them solo. Like, I, in the bingo... Uh, for May, I did entrance solo. Apparently, uh, bingo players can, like, queue dungeon solo. I don't know. Uh, maybe they made it so everybody can. Uh, I know you can do the quest and do uh, get the dungeon solo, but uh, I didn't do any of that on the, uh, the bingo profile, so I don't know if that's just something special to bingo, or they just made it so, you know, whatever, you just go solo <laughs> dungeons, but it is... Uh, Definitely something I want to do. I want to, I want to solo so I don't have to, you know, worry about the party finder and I can take my time on uh, things and I can learn how to do the secrets. That's, that's one of the big things that, like, in the, the dungeons in this game is people are zoom, zoom, zoom. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, they just kick you out. And, you know, if you're trying to learn, you know, it's... It's a harder experience, and I want to take my time, you know, maybe find, uh, you know, find people who like-minded in doing the uh, dungeons and stuff like that, that are, you know, not zoom, 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 and eventually uh, be able to go, wow, we have not got a single squash yet. Oh, that is ridiculous. Uh, but another reason why I wanted the pumpkin dicer is I want to build a rancher boots, uh, it's going to be... Uh, probably the boots we run. I've been farming the, cr the cocoa, trying to get enough to get a replenish book so I can make a potato hoe. Uh, because I'm going to need, I think it's like, I think I counted like a hundred and, <laughs> that was weird, a uh, hundred and something uh, hot potato books we need. Each one of those hot potato books requires one baked potato. Each armor piece can take ten. Each weapon can take ten. So it's one of those things that we're going to need a lot of, a lot of potatoes, like, you know, a normal profile, you can just go buy whatever you need, you're done. But we have to get everything ourselves, and I want a hot potato book, all our gear, that it's like an, a 10, I think it's an extra 10 damage, or 20 damage on your weapon, and uh, some extra health and defense on your armor, so it's definitely worth doing. Just because, you know, you can do 10 and then you can get the fuming hot potato books from the dungeon, which can take you another uh, five levels, I believe. So that's even more stats that can be acquired there. Wow, not a single squash. What is the drop rate on these? It's 0.03% from melons, cocoa beans, and whatnot. Yeah. Jeez. So, I... I expect we're going to have, what, the uh, 256, let's just say, melon blocks before we before we get all of our things. And we also need farming 35 to uh, do the uh, squash armor. You notice we are farming 30. Uh, we started getting, working towards the, the squash armor, I mean the crappie armor at farming level 25, and we got to 30, so... Uh, I think I was like 30 and 20% in when I got my 80th crappie. So, something, you know, you start working for, like, this is like a negative, right? This is like, I'm making no money off this right now. Like, over over here on the side, 
you can see the NPC sell, sell price for each of the crops based on my farming fortune and stuff like that. Now, if I were to go farm potatoes for an hour, I would make three, four million, <laughs> I guess. And it kind of jumps up and down a lot. I don't know why, because it's the NPC sell price since we can't sell to the bazaar. I have no idea. I think it like randomly adjusted based on how many things I'm breaking at this given point in time, right? Uh, so, like, I'm breaking, oh, what is 11 melon blocks per second, so it just applies that same calculation to all the crops, even though it's, you know, slightly misleading, I would say, because, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit, but it's a good rough number, so it's like, yeah, yeah, I could get 3 million. Uh, I, can, I can get that counter up to like 20 million on my other profile, so for whatever crops and stuff like that. And uh, from what I what I understand, melon is the best thing for uh, Iron Man to sell to NPC, but we we need at least 256 enchanted melon blocks uh, to progress the next tier of armor, and then to upgrade this, we're gonna need. Uh, 64 to get to 2.0, and then I think it's, uh, 512 to get to 3.0. It's either 256 or 512 to get to the next tier. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of melon that we're gonna be, gonna be farming, and, uh, we haven't gotten a single squash yet, so, this is, uh, have we, have we, okay, let me just uh, double check here. Yeah. Not a single one. All right, we'll get one though. I'm not. I'm not gonna give up. I can talk all day. Uh, here we go. We got our first squash. All right. So, sacks. And I did craft in a large enchanted husbandry sack to store all my enchanted leather. And I have two eggs left. I'm hoping to make a zombie pet out of one of those. Uh, but if we go into our enchanted pack here, we can look at squash, and we have one squash, so that is uh, going to be what's required to make our next tier armor. Obviously, I cleared this like once or twice, and uh, obviously not the most efficient way, but I don't have replenish, I don't have delicate, so I can't do a lot of the fancy things. All right, so that's that. Uh, the next tool I'm going to buy... Uh, is the fungi cutter uh, right here? So, why do I want the fungi cutter? Uh, oh, I need to change metals around. So, uh, that's, that's one gold. Metal exchange. Go, and we're gonna take the fungi cutter. Uh, we need 32 tickets. Let's grab those. Uh, fungi, fungi, the mushrooms, are the most, uh, efficient, or most, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, experience giving crop. So, this is gonna be, like, our way to, uh, level up, if you will. So, this is gonna get annoying, I won't farm this on, uh, on camera because of what it does, but the fungi cutter has this mode, right? Red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, right? And... It, the, the way the default thing plants it, right? It's just like a total mix of whatever the hell you get. And we'll fix that when we make our own crop. Um, but you'll hear, see here in a second. So if I just start walking like this, right? It tells me the wrong mode constantly. And it just beeps and beeps and beeps and beeps and beeps and beeps. Uh, we don't need replenish for this tool. So that is nice. I don't know how to turn off this uh, wrong cutter mode thing. I don't know what mod is doing it, but, uh, yeah. But, as you can see there, we're getting 10.3%, or, yeah, 10.3 experience per mushroom. So, uh, we'll use that to level up our mushrooms, and uh, we also need to get burrowing spores from the mushrooms. Uh, we need four of those to enchant our equipment, so we have a better uh, enchant there. Uh, it gives us more farming fortune and I think speed and whatnot. So that'll be something I do, but I'll, I'll farm the mushrooms like offline, I think, just because of that annoying sound. But you see there, it's very profitable it's selling to NPC. All right, uh, let's throw some of the stuff in the bag here. Here, let's go. Let's go to my bin.
space and I should have a box I can just throw this junk in <laughs> so much junk gotta save the flowers there we go and we got some enchants let's throw those in there and let's clean this up real quick so if you go I, I have like uh auto craft things in my uh, personal compactor that deals with most of this stuff. There we go. All that's taken care of. All the farming stuff anyway. All right, we can put those in there. All right, so we're going to want our sword. Um, put that primary, I guess. I need a wand because I'm terrible. And we'll take my bow. And we need our two actual fighting fighting uh, equipment. And we just throw those in there. And I think that's all of that. Uh, I did go to the end today, and I got three summoning eyes. Uh, I need I need more. <laughs> I need a lot more uh, summoning eyes. Uh, it's just not enough if we kind of take a look i have a chest over here this one so yeah uh, we only have four of these i thought i had another one somewhere or three uh i thought i had another one somewhere but i don't i've uh, been trying to farm a dragon set i want wise but i've only gotten six of those i've gotten a lot of this old uh dragon armor or dragon fragments which uh so we can't make the helmet, can't make the legs. I think we can make the boots, right? So that would be a good set for us to make at some point. Uh, but right now, uh, it's, you know, <laughs> not practical. Uh, so just using this uh, Ender set here. So I guess this does not have a full set bonus. So we could theoretically... Uh, swap out there's a dragon you know like pieces of dragon armor because this does double in the end uh, but since we're not in the end it doesn't really matter all right that is all of that and we're good oh and uh also today i got a new pet i dropped a phoenix pet while farming uh i don't know where he went there he is uh well farming the end for uh for the for uh, zealots and stuff, so I was, that was pretty cool. It like it does like a zone wide announcement. I wish I would have had it recording, but I did not. All right, so we go down here into the hub, and we go to Maddox the Slayer here. Go ahead and talk to him. And now, my goal with Slayer short term is to get to uh, uh, Spider Three, uh, Spider Six, uh, Wolf Six, and Zombie Six. Uh, slayer so we can get the auto uh, auto slayer so I don't have to come back here every time uh, I cannot do a four I can do a three so we'll do that one real quick and I'll kind of show that process get our sword now obviously I don't have a uh, undead sword yet uh, I was going to craft the uh, the weapon like uh, there's a zombie zombie killing weapon uh, so the Reverend uh, Falson, I was going to do that, but uh, I don't have I don't have enough zombie flesh, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'd like to come down here to this room with the two golden ghouls and just uh, kind of sit here. I, now I don't have like a turtle shelmet, so I get knocked back a lot, but uh, works out pretty well and I'm doing the gold zombies in particular one because they give good experience and two they drop a gold powder uh, and that gold powder can be used to make a I think of the zombie forward sword which is a right click heal sword so, so it's pretty nice should spawn the boss here in just a moment, but it spawns really quick. It's just so annoying because I have to go all the way back to Maddox every time. There we go, we got him. Now he's 
takes a little bit of time for me to kill. I can't kill the next one. Look at my health. Like, I'm pretty good right now, right? Like, I'm not taking a whole lot of damage. The regen, uh, lifesteal stuff on my sword is, is pretty good. And, uh, kind of just negates him. And I just stand up against the wall. There we go. And we got... We got a, a foul flesh, which is a zombie. Uh, or no, yeah, it's a uh, minion item, which is like the only item I can really get right now. All right, let's get out of here and turn this in. So, as I said, like uh, until we have auto slayer, this is so tedious. You can kind of see like my uh, my kill counters and stuff like that. I've killed 192 times so far. And I'm, it's, I don't know if those are all this character or if it shows all my profiles, so... I don't think I've done 190. I think that's my other character. Let's see here, we get 100 XP for that. And then uh, we can do it again. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to kill four yet. We're going to need to make some stuff. And this kind of goes into where I want to go next. So this is the weapon we're going to make. Uh, it is, you know, 90 damage, 50 strength, 100 intelligence, 150 extra damage to zombies. I'm currently using a void sword, which is 125 damage, 167 strength, uh, plus the spicy reforge gives it all those other things, plus all the other stats. Uh, but it also gains strength based on the Ender Armor worn. So going into it, uh, we're going, going to be losing some uh we're gonna be losing a little stats uh this weapon has an upgrade all the way up to like you know best you know one of the better weapons in the game so it's uh it's terribly expensive though so this crystallized heart uh enchanted diamonds like i have eight thousand nine hundred ninety five enchanted diamonds that's that's nothing <laughs> The zombie heart, on the other hand, is uh, where it kind of gets a little crazy. Now, if we uh, super craft those, we, I am I am uh, about halfway on that to be able to make my first zombie heart, which will allow us to uh, make the crystallized heart, uh, and then that'll let us make the sword. <laughs> like the undead sword is the thing you buy from the thing, but this is going to be like where we want to go, and then... Uh, we also want to make these uh, reverent legs. I believe I'm, uh, I'm almost there. I think I can. Yeah, I just need more of this uh, flesh, so I got to kill more of those. Uh, we want to make the boots also, which we could probably make those now, which would uh, it would be pretty good. But uh, I'm like, I'm gonna hold off on that for right now. Uh, I want to make the sword first. And then we can make the, another crystallized heart to wear as a helmet. And uh, that'll give us, you know, three pieces of armor out of this. I believe I already made the ring. And I believe I already... Oh, I did not make the wand of healing yet. So that looks like, uh, like we could do that. So let's go ahead and make the wand here. There we go. We got a wand of a mending, I guess. Uh, which is... Uh, it's a, you know, better wand, right? The other one was 60, this one's 90, so to heal us a little bit more. I, they did, you know, use our uh, Viscera here, but, you know, that's fine. I'm not concerned about that. It's not used in any of the sword crafting, uh, and we'll make the stuff later. But So we get, we gotta grab the quest. But this is what I'm gonna be doing for a while, is grinding these slayers. We didn't get this foul flesh, which, uh, it's a minion and it gives it 90% speed increase, uh, but it goes in the fuel slot, so, and it only lasts five hours, so, it's, like, if you can get a stack of it, like 64 of them, then, uh, you just throw those in a minion, and you're good to go. It's, uh, they're like 25k each or something like that on the, on the bazaar, so they're, you know, fairly, uh, nice item, uh, but, uh, since we are... Iron Man, we can't do any of that stuff. So. Uh, I usually just sell them on my uh, other profile since it's a, little t it's a little tedious at certain points. You know, you're like, oh, I gotta go put more fuel in my minion. I like to just ignore my minion as, most, as much as I can. 
But, uh, ow. Talk about luck. Jeez. And, uh, oh, wow, and we got the boss already. There we go. So I just go to the wall, just hit him. Now, the Phoenix pet gives me a ability. It's like a, not that great of ability, but it takes my critical damage, times it by 15, and applies it as a damage over time every four hits. So, definitely uh, interesting. And we got another foul flesh. That's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. So it's pretty easy to do. Like, I'm not, I'm not having any trouble, right? Um, but at the same time, <laughs> the tedious part is running back every time. So as soon as we get Auto Slayer, we'll be better there. Um, I think we should run over and check out Spider Slayer next. I don't know how far I can get in that. Uh, I do have a few, I think I'm locked, but like, like when I was doing this, it was during like one of the uh, events and like people would just kill my things. So I could, was kind of getting carried and it was kind of annoying. All right. So let's go with this one. The tier two looks like, uh, that'll be a challenge. It's 30,000 hit points. Um, we'll try that one. I don't know. All right. So we can warp to the top of the nest. I have that of that thing. So where are we at here? Need to drop. I like to go down here, but I guess we can kill anywhere. Uh, where's my aspect? There we go. Bunch of spiders here. Now I'm going to use my uh, uh, Dreadlord sword to kind of just destroy these things. Because it's going to take a little while to uh, get the experience. There's another cave we can go try out. I don't know if we can handle it yet here because the spiders spawn the silverfish after you kill them so let's go try that and see but we're almost there anyway i found i found the, the best place i found to do spider slayer is in the boss room down here uh but if you can't handle it it's, <laughs> it's uh, there we go we already got a mini Not sure what just happened. Okay, the bot was the boss. That's my, someone else's boss. Okay, jeez. Alright, we're done. Uh, and which, which gets you... This is where it gets a little annoying, right? So we walk warp back to... Warp back to spawn. And we have to go talk to Maddox again. So, getting... Getting this Slayer uh, 6 is quite a uh, quite a bit of work just running back and forth. Now, at Wolf Slayer, so we're going to do a Wolf Slayer one next. So there we go, we got, we're almost level 3, so we'll do that. So Wolf Slayer here, uh, let's go with the Wolf Slayer 1, because I haven't done 2 yet. And Wolf Slayer is to like, do true damage, and I'm almost certain he's going to destroy me, so... Now, if we look at, uh, let's see, warp, here we get the map. So where are we at? Right here, we want to go over to the castle. And if I'm not mistaken, it's right in front of us. So this is a little bit easier to get to. Uh, there is another location in uh, the park, uh, in the Howling Cave, where you can kill more, but uh, this is... From what I've I've understand, it's a little less uh, uh, congested. I think that's the word. There we go. We got an old wolf right there. Oh, just there we go. Wolf one. <laughs> uh, what are we at? Nine of twelve kills. All right. So I just gotta wait for these. To Killed the boss. Took three seconds. It's not where we want to go. But it's pretty easy. Like, I mean, there's no one here right now, so it's going to go pretty quick. 
Uh, we can get a, I think it's a hound pet or a wolf pet to get combat wisdom for that, so it goes a little bit faster. But uh, speaking of uh, pets, let's do zombie. We should be able to mystery zombie pet. Like we can craft, we can make an attempt. Like let's look at this pet before I do it. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of flesh to waste. All right, zombie pet. All right, we'll get either a legendary. So increases the stats on undead armor, deals hundred up to one hundred and fifty percent more damage to zombies, reduces the damage taken by zombies by ten percent, gives us health and critical damage. Or we can do a zombie if this is what we get. You know, deal more damage and reduce the damage taken. Uh, I, I would be happy with either of those. The uh, legendary bonus is, uh, you know, obviously great because we will want a legendary one later when we start wearing the armor, but we don't have the armor now. So let's uh, let's let's use 133 of our rotten flesh, and we got a uh, normal one. So that's that's just how it goes. Now I believe I get like 60 rotten flesh every. Uh, every single uh every single kill <laughs> like every boss kill i get 60 rotten flesh so uh, plus i have i have a minion going i'm gonna turn all my minions into it so let's get our zombie pet out and let's go turn this one in and i don't believe we can do uh yeah five wolf slayer experience uh, we unlocked Wolf Slayer 1. We can collect uh, the reward here, which allows us to make the Red Claw Talisman. So, kind of look at that. So, at Wolf Slayer 3, we can get the phone, uh, which is probably something we should rush immediately. I thought it was Wolf Slayer uh, 5, but I guess it's 3. So, let's see what the experience requirement for that is. So, in... A few more kills. Can we do two? Let's go try a two. I'm totally all over the place. But if we can get Wolf Slayer three, then uh, that'll let us uh, do it. I'm going to switch back to my Phoenix pet uh, since that, that one won't help us at all on this. But uh, the zombie pet will definitely help us on that. And then uh, we do have a chance to drop a ghoul pet while we are uh, while we are doing the... This is, killing the crypt ghouls and stuff like that and that one will definitely help us with uh totally lost my train of thought where is the throne room did i take a wrong turn here <laughs> it's up these stairs i guess there it is go the old wolf here gives the most experience yeah we got a bestiary unlock Come on, where are you at, wolves? There's another one. Alright, seven more kills. Not bad at all. Go and then these drop wolf teeth. Uh, the other one drops webs of spider, and the uh, zombies drop the reverent flesh. Uh, they're all used for uh, crafting all the different things. And my goal is to use. Uh, is the <laughs> all right? We killed him like way too easy. So I fell down again. So what is that? Uh, so much experience that gives us. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna be, you know, this is tedious. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just keep doing this uh, and whatnot. But I will try to get Slayer Three so I can get that. So we got 25 XP for that, which got us to Wolf Slayer Two, and allowed us to unlock the Golden Tooth. Tooth. All right, so that's that was going well faster than I thought. Now we need 250 experience to get the three. So I don't think I, let's try it. I don't think we can kill this one. 
I do have a cookie active, so I'm not going to lose my money. Uh, but well, let's try this. Uh, this will be... It'll either be hilarious or it will uh, be awesome in every way. Uh, but uh, RNG... What do we want our RNG to be? Oh, I gotta kill tier 3 to turn it on anyway. Alright, let's get our Dreadlord Sword. I find the Dreadlord Sword is actually one of the, like, greater clearing weapons. Like, I never really used it on my other profile, except for, like, the five minutes that you first get it. But, uh, it is, uh, it is actually pretty nice. Because the AoE is just fantastic. Ooh. Alright, well, alright. That wasn't too bad. And we one-tap everything, so... They're not too bad. Oh, another boss. And we are going to want to make the, uh, I think it's called Mastiff Armor. Uh, I'm currently putting a lot of effort into getting uh, 1500 Dark Oak via minions uh, to be able to craft Armor of Growth, and then uh, from there we'll make uh, the uh, Mastiff Armor when we can. Which will uh, make things a lot easier for a lot of things, so... Uh, it'll allow us to kill ghosts, I believe, uh, in uh, the Dwarven Mines, which will allow us to get Sorrow, which will allow us to get uh, better mining gear. Alright, let's see if we can actually kill this guy. He's got terrible pathing. I have no idea what that was. I can't see how much health he has. Looks like he's got 500k. It's really hard. Let's see if I can get a heal off. Phoenix pet is constantly doing. Oh, no, oh, jeez. Totally didn't remember that mechanic. <laughs> He's probably gonna despawn and take it too long. Oh my god, they have 250k each. Yeah, we, we don't have the DPS for this guy, for sure. The server keeps on lagging. Oh, come on. So his only big hit is the one where he knocks me back like that, so... That's not terrible, I suppose. Come on. I do... So this guy also drops the, uh... Orb required to make a, uh... Heal... Heal... Oh, wow, kill... Jeez. Uh, he... I don't even know how that happened, but uh, there we go, we killed it. He, the, make the uh, Radiant Healing Orbs, so uh, there's like a bunch of them. Like there's a blue one, a green one, they all go through different colors, and we're probably going to unlock the recipe here at th Tier 3. Uh, let's see if we got that, but I was surprised we actually killed that one. I felt like that we had a little too low on DPS, but there we go, we get 100 Slayer XP for that one. Um... Uh, so that one was 750,000 hit points. Uh, yeah, so... 
that's uh that's something there we go the radiant power orb so we can actually make that right now so that's perfect i don't that worked out great excuse me that worked out great can we make this too oh yeah look at this we're just like getting all kinds of cool recipes going here what is this a talisman There we go. <laughs> that gives us one percent crit damage, so that's cool. Uh, let's let's do that again. I think that was not too bad. Now that we have this healing, so this radiant power orb will heal us every second, and it's like we just drop it down, kind of thing. So I think we can. I think we can do it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think we'd kill that one, but here we are. But a hundred XP means we only have to kill one more plus a how was it the uh the other tier we can kill one of the other ones or kill no nope, two more of these and we got a uh high hp one here oh geez look at my health And as we get the, uh, as we get more, the bestiary up, right, we're going to get more magic find and all that stuff against these things. So I think we get more defense too. I could be wrong there. Oh wait, now I can do RNG and then I can do Slayer. Oh, uh, we want, let's go with hamster wheels. Kill Slayer two more times. All right. All right, there's a guy here now. Come on. But. This is Wolf Slayer, so if we can get Wolf Slayer 3 to get that uh, uh, phone so we can call, call the Slayer guy, that'll make things a whole lot easier. Totally forgot about that, but that's going to be fine. What do we add here? F uh, two more kills. Use this one, yeah, there we go. Drop the orb right here. There we go. Just keeping, uh, I'm using the wand, I'm switching to it uh, to get healed. Takes a hundred mana. Alright. Trying to keep the orb down as much as possible. Because that is just extra healing. Until we get the, uh, so there's a thing called the turtle shelmet or something like that. It comes from a, a uh, certain event. Slow, which is really good for us. Is this time to heal up and stuff? Oh my gosh. Can't tell what he's at. He's 100k hit points left. How much damage 
do we have? Right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know why my health dropped so low. Where'd he go? He's out here. Really? <laughs> my phoenix death. <laughs> my phoenix pet saved me from instant death. Alright, that's awesome. I can get that every minute. Oh, and we died. <laughs> oh well, that's... That was a uh, weird circumstances there, so we have to redo that. But that's you know kind of what we're gonna be doing um, in between the next few episodes here is getting that up to three, and then uh, trying to get all the slayers up to six, and then uh, getting all that done. But uh, that's kind of the, where the progress is going. Uh, we got, I didn't <laughs> we killed it twice, so uh, I think there's a little bit of uh, you know changes we can do. I don't know why he fell out the window, but, you know, that is, you know, some bad luck on our part, I guess. Uh, but as soon as we get into uh, some better armor here and uh, whatnot, we should be having a much easier time doing this. Uh, I think the the uh, art growth armor and then the shaman sword uh, are the slayer weapons for the wolf. That'll make that easier. And uh, we'll start getting into that and then getting into the zombie armor and stuff like that. And then I don't know about the spider. I don't think we need anything for that. The tier two one just died. I didn't even realize what was going on. So uh, we'll keep trying at that. Uh, we'll probably do more spider stuff next. Uh, or if we get to, if I get in between before I make another episode, we'll do the end. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.